first person I saw do percussion on the guitar was my guitar teacher when I was four years old. Um, I started playing guitar really, really young. So um, my guitar teacher when I was four years old, he was a um, classical guitar player, but also played flamenco. And in flamenco music, these kinds of techniques are really, really common, really, really common um, to add, or even just to add a sound to a strum. So they'll catch the rim of the sound hole and stuff when they strum. And those, that's a regular part of flamenco guitar. The, the important thing to me for people to accept or, you know, maybe try to accept is that um, the guitar percussion thing, it's not like a gimmick. To me, it's not. To me, it's uh, a musical thing. It's part of my approach to the guitar. And on acoustic guitar, there's, it is a percussion instrument. That is part of the reason why it's a big, big wooden box. And um, people just stop doing it. There's a whole drum kit inside this box. There's a whole drum kit in here. Um, in my opinion, the guitar is the best percussion instrument that there is. Even if you can't play the guitar, if you're a percussion player, you should get a guitar just so you can use it for percussion because it's so awesome. Um, I'll prove it. Okay, so um, let's go for a drum kit sound. Okay, so rather than going for like percussion sounds, we'll go for proper drum kit sounds. So um, I'll find a start with the kick drum, the bass drum, right? Um, I'm going to do, you have to watch really carefully because this is very technical you now. Okay, I'll do that again. You've got to slap it. So, here's my snare. Again, I have different ones. But let's have that one. You've got to flick it. Uh, yes, it does hurt a little bit. So, once you have a kick and a snare, you can create the backbeat. Okay, so that can be my backbeat for now. Okay, let's find some more drums. Let's find the, the toms. Okay, so they're different, aren't they? Because um, you only have one kick and you only have one snare, but you can have two or three or more toms. If you're in a you know, jazz fusion band, you can have up to 349 toms on your drum kit. And um, you, you have little ones. And then kind of the slightly bigger ones. So I'm going to put a couple of toms in with my backbeat. So here's the backbeat. Here's the toms. My hi-hat for today can be this. That kind of sound, okay? Just tapping on the strings really gently. Closed hi-hat. Okay, so um, if I have my backbeat and my toms and my hi-hat, hopefully it's going to sound pretty much like a drum kit. So, here we go. Backbeat. Toms. Okay, here's the whole drum kit. Here we are. Also, because it's not a percussion instrument, we can also add some notes as well. So let's add some bass. So I'm just going to add like a really just one bass note or something to my groove. Here's, I'll put the drums and then the bass. Okay, so here's the drums. Here's the bass. Okay, so that's the rhythm section. Um, but if I can add a third instrument, then it's a band, right? But to make it interesting, it's gonna be a slide guitar. So we'll have the drums, and then the bass, and then the guitar. And I might try and add some vocals as well. Backbeat. Toms. Hi-hat. Tears in the 
Attack. 